And let's start off with day five and six right now. This is the spot that we're in. God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. Let the birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. There was evening, there was morning, the fifth day. Ken, what's going on here? Well, again, as we've seen before, God creates a world that is good. Previously, he created the vegetation. Now we see him creating life and complex life, uh, both in the sea and in the air. Uh, and there is this continual uh, progression uh, of God creating life uh, for a world that he has uh, prepared. Does this square with the scientific evidence, Hugh? We've got the waters teeming with living creatures, birds flying above the earth, God creating the great creatures of the sea, birds again. Are these accurate statements of science? Well, yes, they are. Uh, the cr creation of all these swarms of small sea creatures, I see that as a reference to the Cambrian explosion, where you got this eruption of uh, complex life all suddenly showing up upon the scene, predominantly marine life. And then uh, later on, you have uh, God creating these birds and mammals completely different creatures. Notice it uses the word create. Uh, so this isn't something like let the land produce or let the oceans produce. This is God intervening supernaturally to create something that didn't exist before. So that tells us that these animals are different from any other animals that existed before. Uh, they're the soulish creatures, the nephesh creatures as it says in the Hebrew, endowed by God with mind, will, and emotions so that they can relate at a more intimate level with the future human beings. Uh, birds and uh, sea mammals uh, show up millions of years ago in the fossil record. The sixth day we'll talk about land mammals, but really specific kinds of land mammals. Yeah, that word nephesh, I was thinking of the dolphins, okay, and how you can be friends with the dolphins. And everybody's got a dog and a cat. Are we to dogs and cats yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Dogs and cats, they have this nephish, this kind of ability to relate to human beings. Is that well, what we're talking about? It's not just an ability to relate to us. It's like God programmed these birds and mammals uh, to want to please us. I mean, growing up in Canada, I saw that with animals that never had contact with human beings. The first time you run into them, it's like they want to be around you. They want to receive affection and attention from you. Somebody must have programmed that into them.